What's going on guys? Vic be back with another video. Not really arcade related. You could think it is arcade related because of LEDs and game room battle station setups, but we're gonna be talking about this failed attempt at some wall decor. It failed. So if you're not following me, you should be following me on Instagram at Vic underscore VP because if you were, you would have seen a whole background kind of reason why I made this wall plaque. And it is long overdue because this was featured in my Time Crisis Cabinet video. If you look very carefully, it's there. It's in the actual promo video. And I was gonna talk about it and even when I went into full in-depth detail of Time Crisis, I did show this quite briefly and I did mention that I will make another video on it. It is now a good like two months later I'm glad I didn't make a video on it because honestly, it is going in the trash. It is a failed attempt. It could have worked, but I'll tell you why it failed. So let's take a closer look at this kind of homemade Scarface plaque I made. Now this also will tie in because I'll show another snippet that you would have seen on Instagram on my stories. Um, again, this is my basement game room battle station setup. Everything's off right now because I wanna shoot this video because today is garbage day and that is going in the trash. Just gonna literally chuck it. Um, so in the video, I mean, this is gonna lean towards kind of LEDs. Um, you know, I dubbed myself the LED king, whether it comes to arcade LEDs or addressable LEDs. In the basement here, and I've seen people do it in other, like in their home stuff, I actually did LEDs along the top of the trim or like the top ceiling area. And that, those failed too, because after about a week, they all came down. I even hot glued them up. They still kept coming down. It was just, it was just a failed attempt on LEDs. You can even see carefully, I'll show you the power supply, but I do have the wires still there. I, I made two holes, they're kind of permanent. So, I mean, I love the idea of putting LEDs. It was a great accent. I didn't do it where I put like a diffuser. I didn't do like a track and all that. I literally just, stuck LEDs because of the backing it has and the sticky backing and I just ran it and unfortunately after like I don't know two weeks they started coming down they literally started falling down I would actually I took a, a, like two days to re-glue them with hot glue they kept falling down I said you know what I'm taking it down I was, I was just too embarrassed I had it along the edges here going along the soffit down and then as you can see there's another hole here that went into my boiler room and in the boiler room I did have a whole power supply with WLED setup. So yes, I probably should have done the whole like, I was going to get the diffusers and the track and line it up, but also those diffusers and track, they are expensive. I think it's like every three feet is a piece and you had a nail. I was like, you know what? It was a cool attempt and to see what it would look like but I probably won't be doing that ever again with the whole LEDs on the wall. It was just a disaster, I didn't like it. But before I went into doing the basement, I first built this. If you go way, way back on my videos, maybe about two years ago, I made my custom logo that somebody helped me out with. I got in contact on Etsy with a company that made the channel letters for me. Basically they're 3D printed and then I put my addressable LEDs in it. This is running a program called WLED you could take a look at the YouTube guy named Dr. ZZZ. He'll show you how to do it. This is actually stuff that you put for like Christmas lights. If you wanted to do like an automatic show worthy Christmas house, you could use this software and it's actually pretty easy and cheap. I'll show you what it looks like on that. So now essentially with this here, the background story to it was that again, while I was making that time crisis cabinet, I did have a bunch of airsoft guns in storage, just stuff like from years ago when I was in my teens, me and a couple of my friends, we would go in and play airsoft battles, and kind of like really when Call of Duty came out. Um, so I had a bunch of airsoft guns lying around and the idea was to take the airsoft gun that was in storage, I had three of them, a G36 and two M4A1s. And my idea was to hydro dip it because I saw some guy on YouTube doing hydro dipping. I thought it was gonna be easy. I thought it looked cool. That was another fail that I didn't even, good thing I didn't record it because I got the, I got everything needed and I hydro dipped and it came out 
god awful. Maybe because I was using cheap stuff, but it came out awful. So basically, I did have these airsoft guns, and I was like, hey, I'm building this time crisis cabinet. I have these airsoft guns on storage. Why not make like a plaque? And I came up with this idea. Now, timing with it again, I'll show. I'll, I'll definitely try to find a picture. If I find a picture, I'll post it now. Um, originally, yes, there was a rifle on this plaque. And just recently I sold them on Facebook Marketplace. So now this kind of wall plaque is just useless. Um, so the big thing was, again, I did want to show off and kind of just put on the wall one of the rifles just for art decor in my battle station game room. Not really thinking about it, the rifle is pretty long. This piece right here, those are 12 by 12. So that's a foot by a foot tile. You're looking at two, four, you're looking at around 48 inches wide alone. That's that's a lot. As you could compare it to like this wall here, that's a lot. Uh, so this right here would have, I never put it on the wall. I would have had it done a, a French cleat system where kind of like a piece is on the wall and then it kind of just slips on. Glad I didn't do it because it is going in the garbage. So originally when I did make this, I loved it. It was awesome. The big reason why I called it that it failed is that these tiles, and I could see it in the camera now, these tiles, when I first bought them, these were white. And now you could see they just turned yellow. And honestly, Amazon reviews did state that all of the white tiles turned yellow. I didn't think it was going to turn that yellow, though. That is like as if like my house was dusty yellow. I couldn't believe it compared to like the brand new white that it, I, uh, originally in that video, like it was like white, like this white, but then it just turned like yellow. So that's honestly why I'm throwing it out. I did have this whole thing on marketplace for $200 with the rifles, the LEDs and all that, no bites. It's just gonna go in the garbage because honestly it's just taking up too much space. I'll probably salvage the wood because this is using one by fours and also a big piece of um, birch. So I'll savage the wood, but everything else is just gonna go in the garbage. I'll show a picture real quick of the thing that I bought on Amazon. These were like acoustic panels that came flat. You had to basically wet them and then put them in the dryer. And they did bulk up, like it looked cool. Like I like the whole pointiness look of it, but sadly with this white turning yellow, it just looks God awful. So whoever's watching this, if you're looking at acoustic panels and they're white, don't ever do white because they will turn yellow. Aside from like the plaque and, and all that, the big thing was adding the addressable LEDs. And what's cool is that it mimics and matches my actual logo. So I use this program again from Dr. ZZ called WLED. It's all app controlled. And basically I have these lights linked together. So anytime I change one, so for example, like let's do the police one, it talks to both. So it's two separate kind of chips. I'll show you the back of it, but it's just pretty cool to see like the communication to it. And I made a bunch of presets. It's, it's cool. It's definitely awesome. You could see like the trail. That one is doing the trail now. Pretty cool. So it's pretty cool. Again, they're two separate chips using the app. You could set them together and you could even have them power on and off together on either a timer or a physical actual power button. Pretty cool. Now I did a whole video on my logo, but since this is going out, I'll show you real quick what I did. Basically again, this isn't regular LEDs. These are addressable LEDs. Uh, so this isn't like the stuff you get on Amazon that's like $12. The strips are a little bit expensive themselves, but in the back here, you could actually see the chip that is powering everything. So it's only really three wires. You got your power supply and then your communication wire and then a plug that goes to it. So you'll find these chips. This is called an ESP8266 chip. Um, it has basically its own Wi-Fi on it. And you basically connect this to your phone, your internet, I should say, your 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 uh, router. And then this is seen within the WLED app. And it's pretty cool. And honestly, it's it makes a whole different world when it comes to addressable LEDs. Again, just gonna make a short video. I even went to like my sign girl. I made this on Photoshop. This is just gonna go 
in the garbage. I basically just used some plasterboard, say hello to my little friend, hot glued it. And like I said, this is just a failed attempt at some decor. I would have kept it if this stayed white, but sadly it didn't. So it was going right in the garbage. I'm basically gonna dissect it. I'm gonna take off the LEDs cause I could always use it in a pinball build and the rest will just go in the garbage. That is it. LEDs and decor was a fail.